So let's get started. Go ahead and open Xcode. Go ahead and create a new project. Single view application. UI image. It's going to be in Swift. We're going to focus for iPhone. So go ahead and hit next. And I'm going to create under my document directory. And I already got that project under that name. So I'm just going to replace it. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to change this into a iPhone uh, mode. So now, since we want to load an image, we need to have an image view. So let's go ahead and get the image view. Go ahead and drag and drop right here. And adjust the size. Alrighty, now we need to connect this UI image to our controller, view controller. So go ahead and select UI image, control, hold control, drag it into this view control and we're going to create an outlet. Let's name it image view. Now it's connected, so now all we need is to code. So let's change it into a single uh, editor. So now we need to reference to this image view so we're gonna say self dot image view the reason why we're saying self it's because inside it's it's inside this class dot it has a variable called image which lets us set the image and before we do that let me go ahead and drag the images that I have so they you uh, in iOS there is a special folder called images that you can just drag and drop the images that you want and it'll, it'll store it right there now let's go back to your view controller but uh, you'll have to remember these names because this is how you're going to get the image in your view controller so now let's uncomment this we're gonna and there's a class called ui image that gives us the image ui image and there's a method call you image named all you have to say image one because I want to show the whenever it loads up I want to show the first image so let's go ahead and test it I'm gonna do it in iPhone 5 because it'll load up quicker go ahead and run it there is your first image so now I've got a couple more images that I of what I wanted to do is it I want it, it to animate so let's add an animation so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Im uh, so you have to uh, implement NS timer I'm gonna put a timer like two seconds and change it to the next image so I'm gonna need a variable called whatever you wanna name it timer it's gonna be type NS timer and I'm gonna put an exclamation mark because it's gonna I know it's, it won't be nil so so now what I'm gonna do is timer is equal to ns timer dot schedule timer with let's see interval probably one target self which is gonna be this class itself selector I'm gonna create a method called animate and user information is going to be nil and I do not want it to repeat so I'm just going to say false so let's go ahead and erase this method because it's not going to run out of memory so func animate so whenever it finishes this time it's going to call this method so so let, let me show you what how it's going to work animate method so whenever it finishes it's gonna call this method so what I'm doing I'm just printing out a statement that says animate method so let's see if that works there it goes it shows you that it invoked right after one second so it, it is getting here so, so let's go ahead and um, implement uh, an animation method so we're gonna animate on the view so we're gonna say UI view dot animate with or transition 
so in width view it's gonna be on the view and the direct duration is gonna be two seconds and type of animation is gonna be dot curve is out animate inside this method it's gonna call whenever it invokes this so and let's change this to and let's say finished in so that way it won't give us error okay now inside this method since we want to animate only three images we want to have a counter so let's say counter it's going to be equal to one so since there are three images we want to say self dot counter is less than or equal to three we want to animate and now since we want to change the image we want to change an image in from on our image view so let's let's copy this and it's going to be equal to ui image and the name is going to be different this time we can take an advantage of this counter since it goes through only three times in our image name is image 2 image 3 so let's go back I'm gonna have a variable called name is equal to image and in Swift if you do forward slash and in parentheses put the name of the variable it changes into the um, string so now here since if uh, whenever it's one you can just say counter plus plus because we want to have a second image after loading the first image we don't want to have it over and over again so whenever it gets here it's going to be image 2 and let's increment the counter so that way it doesn't stuck stay on the one and let's implement this again because we want to uh, call itself again it's going to keep on doing it until three times so let's go ahead and run it let's see what it does there it goes so we can test another animation let's change this into uh, something else curl uh, let's see transition curl down let's see how that does go ahead and run it that's a pretty good way that's great animation so there you go guys that's all for this tutorial and leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to see something else in your image view so the thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you like it thank you